Okay, so this next segment is about emotion. So the unit is motivation, emotion, stress, and personality. And so it's a really big unit, but it's kind of broken down into the three small units. Um, at the end of this video, you should be able to explain uh, emotions and the through the different uh, theories of emotion. So uh, the biggest part is just being able to explain how each different set of psychologists explain what emotion is. And I think emotion sounds simple, but when we start breaking it down, I think you start to see that it is more complex. And psychologists are just trying to understand what is emotion. So we know emotion is made up of um, a feeling we get inside, a biological arousal. So when you're happy, you have something also going on inside your body. Um, maybe you feel warm or maybe your heart starts to race. And so there is something biological that's going on, some kind of arousal while you're happy. Um, there's also um, expressive um, signs of emotion. Um, there's also a, a conscious understanding of the emotion. And so there's there's all these aspects of emotion. And so psychologists are trying to just explain um, what is the emotion? What comes first? Um, when do the parts happen? And so the different theories just are trying to explain that order and, and what emotion really is. And so uh, this chart just gives you kind of an, an, um, an example of how each different theory would explain what the emotion is and how it's kind of working through in the body and in the mind. So if we start with an oncoming car, um, suppose you're driving and, and there's a car coming forward at you just right down the center lanes um, and, and you will experience an emotion. And so if we're going with the James Long theory, um, that's over here on on this side over. <laughs> it's my left, possibly um, your left also, but over here, James Long, we're going to start with. Um, so James Long would say um, that the very first thing that would happen would be the biological change in the body. So your heart starts to race. At, when you see the car, your heart starts to race. And because your heart starts racing, that helps you then know what emotion you're feeling. And so heart starts to race, then I feel afraid. And because my heart races, I know that I am then afraid. And so I remember remember James Long because I think of um, J for James as jump, as there's a biological um, arousal going inside of my body. Maybe my, my stomach drops or my heart starts to race. There's this jump inside of my body. And because that has happened, I can L label. Um, that emotion. And so James Long, jump and label. Because I've had a change in my body, then I, therefore I know I have this emotion. Um, uh, the following theory is the Cannon Bard theory. Um, and, and this particular theory says you can't separate. So you can't separate the change in the body from what the emotion is. Um, in fact, Cannon, Walter Cannon was the the, the man who was critiquing the James Long theory. And, and, and what he said was, well, there, you know, maybe your heart is racing and how do you know you're, you're not happy or how do you know you're not angry or, or how, how can you, how, how does heart racing lead to fear? Um, and so he said, he and um, his colleague, uh, they decided that, that together it, that fear and heart racing is the same that and and so you can't separate what is happening in the body from that emotion and so when you are afraid your heart is also racing or when you are happy your heart is also racing and it's not my heart races so now i know i'm happy um ken and bard would say no it's just together it's the same your heart racing is happening at the same time that you are afraid or that you are happy. They're happening together simultaneously. Um, and I remember Cannon Bard um, because I think of um, the C, if I, if I think of a symbol banging, that would be the B for Bard. Um, I'm seeing the, the symbol bang while I'm hearing it and those two things happen together simultaneously. You don't separate the sound from the sight of the symbol banging um, the same way fear is happening with your heart racing at the same time. When the car is coming down the road towards me, I am afraid and my heart is racing at the same time. Um, the next is called the Schachter Singer Two Factor Theory. And the Schachter Singer Two Factor Theory says that you have to have an experience of understanding the situation. So um, 
the first thing would be the car coming down the road and my heart is racing, but I also have to have a cognitive interpretation of the situation. Um, I'll have to understand what that means. What does it mean if a car is coming down? And what does what do those two yellow lines mean? And I'm, I'm realizing while I'm watching this that this is a dangerous situation, that this car is coming down the center of, of the road and it's not on its side, it's coming towards me. And so you have a... a, a a cognitive appraisal of the situation and you you realize this is a dangerous situation while your heart is racing and then you because you've uh, realized what's going on and you've put that together you know that you are fearful and you're experiencing fear um, the same thing to kind of explain this a little bit more if, if you were walking on a sidewalk and you see a dog running towards you your heart might start to race and depending on your situation you you might actually have a different emotion. Um, maybe you've had experiences with dogs where dogs have attacked you. Um, and so your heart is racing and and you are putting it together. This could be a dangerous, dangerous situation for me. And so therefore I'm scared. Or maybe you haven't had that situation and, and your heart is racing and, and you've had all of these great situations that you've loved dogs. And so then you realize, oh, this is happiness and I'm happy that the dog is coming. And, and so the Schachter Singer theory is you're, your heart is racing or whatever the biological arousal is while you're having a cognitive assessment of the situation before you know what you're feeling. Um, and so I remember this, the, the Schachter singer has two S's. And so I think of a situation that, I, that I'm in where I have to interpret it. So um, I'm opening the door and, to my house and the lights are off and I hear a sound in my house and I, my heart starts to race and I have to have a, a cognitive assessment of the situation. Is this a surprise party? That's my first S. Is this a surprise party? Am I happy? then my heart is racing. Am I happy? Um, or the second S is, does someone need to save me? Is, am I in a situation where I'm, you know, someone is in my house and they're going to come and hurt me. And so, um, I have to have a cognitive assessment of the situation while my heart is racing before I know, am I surprised? Am I happy? Or am I scared and fearful? And so according to Schachter Singer, your heart is racing while you're having a very, very fast cognitive assessment of the situation before you know um, how you're actually feeling. So this next section is like kind of just um, added on to the theories of emotion. So um, the, the three major theories are the James Long, um, Cannon Bard and the Schachter Singer two-factor theory of emotion. Um, these are two follow-up um, situations where these two different theories, uh, Zeance, Ledoux, and um, Lazarus, they're all kind of um, coming to a similar conclusion that that maybe in addition emotions are are a, an unconscious experience that that and and these kind of tack onto it. So. Um, we'll start, I, I think that this description helps at the top, but I think also this diagram at the bottom helps as all, also. So um, the Zeance and the Ledoux um, explanation here, it also follows down here at the bottom. So um, this first one, um, the, the Zeance and Ledoux, so basically what, what they're saying is that um, we, we don't even realize that we have the emotion. We don't even have... Um, the emotion happens like right when uh, maybe like something rustles or moves out in the trees, the emotion is like, I, I, I have a jolt of, of, of fear automatically before I even like process, oh, this is a scary situation. Um, they would say, no, it happens like the moment I have that, that I hear that sound, I jump and I, I'm, I don't even think about is this a scary situation? The emotion happens just unconsciously. Um, the, the, the Lazarus theory is kind of a piece of the Schachter Singer theory. So just to go back to, to Schachter Singer, Schachter Singer would say that um, while my heart is racing, I'm appraising the situation to figure out how I'm feeling. Um, and, and Lazarus would say that in that process, it is unconscious. So I am not, I'm not necessarily aware that I'm processing through what's happening. Um, but I, my heart is racing 
and I'm appraising the situation, but I'm not thinking about it. I'm just, so if I hear something, you know, I hear something rustle out in the, in the woods, my heart's racing and unconsciously I'm putting the pieces together. And I, their example is I go, oh, it's, it's just the wind. I don't need to be afraid, but I'm, I'm doing this, um, just quickly and unconsciously. I'm, I'm appraising the situation. So I think the piece to remember about them, um, these two elements is that, um, Ledoux and Lazarus, um, and seance, they just say that, that this emotion piece is not a, a conscious experience. It just happens quickly, um, without us being aware that it's occurring. Okay, so the next part of the theories of emotion is the spillover effect and the facial feedback theory. The spillover effect is um, an idea that your emotions are affected by how other people are feeling who are around you and that their emotions can spill over and, and how their feeling can affect how you're feeling. And, and there's an example in the text of people who were given epinephrine and the epinephrine um, you know, sped up their body system, that caused their heart to ra uh, race and, and their face to flush. And so um, what they were wanting to do is they were wanting to simulate an emotional experience, a biological arousal in the person's body. And, and then they put them in a room with people who were experiencing different emotions. So people in a room who were happy or people in the room who were angry or, or frustrated. And then they had the person who was injected with that epinephrine talk to the researchers, how did you feel? And so they wanted to see if if the person felt the way that other people felt in the room. So they had the same biological arousal, the heart racing, face flushing, um, that sped up feeling inside. And so the, the people who reported back to the researchers who had been in the room, the people who were happy had similar feelings or, or frustration had similar feelings. Um, there was a control group who they did know what the whole purpose of the experiment was that they were being injected with um, the epinephrine that would speed up their body. They did not have the spillover of emotions um, because they interpreted their experience as the injection rather than interpreting the experience as an emotional experience. And so the spillover effect does help to um, just give some evidence to the Schachter-Singer theory that, that you have a biological change and you're also appraising the situation on how to feel. The facial feedback uh, theory is is just that the way you express emotion on your your face can actually affect how you feel and what emotion you experience. So if you are not happy but you display a smile, um, you can actually create a feeling of happiness through just recreating that facial display. Or um, uh, wearing a frown and not being sad can actually make you feel sad. Um, there are all kinds of situations where they've tested this. Um, um, and one situation was injecting a, a bo Botox in, in, in around the areas that can cause the frown um, in people who were experiencing depression. And those people who were experiencing depression and had their, their face, um, all, you know, just not paralyzed, but stiffened in those areas that could cause a frown, they reported feeling less um, negative emotions um, because they actually were displaying those facial expressions less. And so um, the facial feedback theory is just the idea that your face and your facial expression can impact how you actually feel. Okay, so that is all you need for the theories of emotion. I hope that's helpful.